Hello, my name is Walter, and I'm one of the PCC librarians here to introduce you to one of our databases, Gale eBooks. What resources can you find in Gale eBooks? Before we take a look at the database, let's determine what type of database Gale eBooks is. From its title, you probably have determined that it contains eBooks. But what kind of eBooks? Gale eBooks specializes in providing you access to nonfiction reference books. You'll find encyclopedias and other books that provide general but authoritative background information about a subject. How do you access Gale eBooks? All of our databases must be accessed through the PCC Library's website. Let's go there now to find where we can quickly access this database. If you start from PCC's homepage, click on Academics and Support, and then Library. This will bring you to the PCC Library's homepage. From there, scroll down below the main search box, and there is an icon and link for databases. After clicking on that icon, you will get to a list of all the databases the library subscribes to in alphabetical order. Since Gale eBooks begins with the G, you can click on the G or scroll through the list to find Gale eBooks. Click on its link and it will bring you to the database. When you're off campus, you will need to log in using your Lancer Point or Canvas login. Remember, you must go through these links to access the databases when off campus. Otherwise, the database won't recognize you as a PCC student. Now that we're in the database, you should see a search box towards the top and the collection of ebooks highlighted below. I'm going to perform a simple search to find resources on a topic. I'm going to type in the subject climate change. In my search results, you will see that it is searching within ebooks that contain information about my topic. So what's great is that it is finding those specific sections that highlight information about climate change. When I click on a title of a section from a book, it will bring me to the full text of that specific section. So this first result is 36 pages long. I don't think I'm going to read that right now. I want to save it for later. I can do that by clicking on the Send To at the top of the page. Here, I can save it to either my Google Drive, OneDrive, or email. I'm going to email it to myself. When I email it to myself, Gale eBooks will also include the MLA citation for the article by default. If you're not using MLA, you can always change the citation it will email you by going to the bottom of the article and switching the citation to either APA or Chicago. After selecting the proper citation format, then email the article. And now I'm ready to find more resources. There are additional features that you can explore in Gale eBooks. You can take notes and highlight on the page. There are audio options to read the text on the screen, translation tools, an additional eBook viewer, direct download options, and a built-in dictionary. If you need help at any time using Gale eBooks or finding resources, please feel free to reach out using our online chat service from the library's homepage by clicking on 
ask a librarian. And that was an introduction to Gale eBooks. Thank you for using the PCC library, and we hope to see you soon.